Hello everyone, I'm Jasmine and today we're going to be reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. On the front cover I can see a picture of a caterpillar and this caterpillar has a large green body and a red face. On the back there's a picture of a leaf and on the leaf there's a hole where the caterpillar has taken a bite and the caterpillar is right here moving away from where he's eaten and up here we have the beautiful sun now this picture book doesn't have a blurb the writing over here is just what people are saying um, what they like about this picture book so that means that we're just going to have to start reading and find out what the story is about straight away so let's get to it. The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. One, two. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. One, two, three. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. One, two, Three, four. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. One, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh dear. And here's a very hungry caterpillar, not looking very well at all. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house, called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and oh, he was a beautiful butterfly. Wow, look at that, look at all of these beautiful colours on his wings. There's purple and green and yellow and blue and red. And all of these patterns on his wings too. How amazing is that? And this page is full of all of the colours on his wings. It's very beautiful. The end. Thanks for reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar with me. I'll see you next time. Bye.